Hello. Karen Road we are driving on is going straight through Glen Nevis, which you may actually recognize from Braveheart, Highlander. Spoiler alert, in Pokemon Detective Pikachu, this is where the research center is located where Mewtwo escapes from. There is a lot of scenes here. Also located on Glen Nevis is the tallest mountain in the United Kingdom called Ben Nevis. This road is the start of a lot of hiking trails to hike up there. I am too scared. Maybe one day. This walk was probably my favorite walk I've ever done in Scotland, so far at least. Still need to do more. It took us about an hour, maybe less than an hour, and I was stopping a lot of video and take pictures, so it wasn't too bad of a walk. There was lots of rocks, steep sections, so make sure you have the right footwear. And we can get slidey too, so grippy shoes are a must. Like a lot of locations featured in my vlog, this place was incredibly busy and the car park was completely packed. We ended up having to park over a giant rock sticking out of the ground. <laughs> it was very tedious. I don't even know when to recommend to go there. Just hope that it's early enough in the morning, early enough in the day that the majority of people haven't arrived yet. Steel Falls is actually the second highest waterfall in Scotland with a drop of 120 meters. You also may recognize it from Harry Potter. The scenery was used as backdrops for the Quidditch matches in the Philosopher's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, and most noticeably the Goblet of Fire, in which the waterfall can be seen during the scene where Harry's being chased by the dragon and the waterfall is the backdrop for that. I'll throw up some pictures or clips from the movie right now just so you can have a comparison.
The viaduct that you can see here was opened in 1901 and it's the longest railway bridge in Scotland, being 380 meters long or 1,247 feet. The itself was featured in Harry Potter in the Chamber of Secrets, The Prisoner of Azkaban, and The Goblet of Fire. that you also see here, named Loch Shiel, is also the location of Hogwarts during the Goblet of Fire. I'll post an image here so you can see what it looks like. Welcome to the second task. Last night, something was stolen. The train are far gone. Exact one. The Scott Rail. If you wish to visit, you can check the train times online to find out exactly when the train will be passing over the viaduct. Same advice goes for before, make sure you get there early for parking because this is an incredibly busy spot as you can see here. We actually had to come here for a second time because I got the days wrong of when the train was going to be passing the viaduct, so we had to actually come back here the next day to see the train. Another fun story about this place, I was holding my camera in my hand by the tripod feet and I was swinging it back and forth as I was walking and I threw my vlog camera at like three meters in front of me. So don't do that please if you come here, don't do that. Don't throw your equipment, especially your expensive vlog equipment. Why is some guy chainsawing right now? The train that you are about to see here is the Jacobite Steam Train and it is featured in every single Harry Potter movie as the Hogwarts Express. You can buy a ticket to ride it and you can see the famous scenery out the window that is featured in the movies such as Dumbledore's Grave and Hogwarts. So yeah, that's it for me today. I will see you guys next week where we're going to be exploring Glencoe. We're going to be going down Glen Etive, which is famous for its scenes in James Bond and Harry Potter. We're going to be checking out Kiltern Castle, Oban, and a bunch of other really cool places. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe. And if you want some extra content, I also have a Patreon. If you want to look at that, it's below in the description. Thank you guys. I'll see you next time. Please, please like the video, okay? I need likes. Thank you.